Welcome back. So as you start writing tests, as you write more and more software, you should start getting smarter about where you should put your responsibility for specific things. Now in my case right here, if you notice, I actually have some responsibility inside my component. Let me try and show you the component. I know these tests runs perfectly right now, but there's some responsibility for the component I don't feel belongs where it is right now. So let's have a look at the product list component. The product list component right now, he knows how to get a list of products from the product service. Makes perfect sense. To list the products, I need to know how to get the products. That makes perfect sense. But he also has some responsibility right here, which is how to actually get the URLs for those products, right? For product pictures. Now that doesn't belong here. Getting the URL does not belong here. It's logic that belongs inside uh, my actual service. So I wanna get rid of this logic right here I want to move that logic into the product service so that instead now when I get the product from the product service, he knows how to actually get the URLs if they are available. It shouldn't be the job right now as it is of the component because that would mean if I ever need to get the products with the URL somewhere else, I would have to copy this code once more to the another, to another product. So if I had a single product overview right here that I wanted to get the picture for, some kind of product details, I would have to again make the exact same code instead of putting that code inside the actual service. So that's why again you need to start understanding who has the responsibility for doing certain things. And again in this case the responsibility doesn't belong right here. So let's just get rid of that part. And that'll mean I have to rewrite my code because again I've added some responsibility that I've tested inside the product list component. That'll go away now and that means I have to rewrite my tests. And again, I just want to point out here, that's okay. It's okay to rewrite your tests when you start moving your code around. That's the main point right here. But let's just get rid of this right here. I'll add it later in the product service so we can get the URLs back. Go away, I don't need you anymore. And I'll just add it right here. I'll save this code. There we go. And you'll notice now my code will actually start failing. So let's just try and jump right back to the test and you'll see I have a, a test that fails. I should show image tag when product with URL is loaded async from the product service. But the problem is actually not within my product list component. That is correct right now. It's actually the test that's written in an incorrect way. So let's try and change that. Jumping back to the product right here, notice I don't need the file service here anymore. Let's just get rid of that guy. Another thing you'll notice is I can remove a lot of this gibberish up here. Let's just clean that up while we're here anyway. And then as the final thing, what I want to do is I want to figure out how I can make the test now be correct because it's actually the test that's wrong right now, not the product list component. So let's just try and jump into the product list component right here and have a look. The only thing I want to test for the product list component HTML is actually that if there is a URL, I want to show the image. And if there's not a URL, then I don't want to show the image. That's the only test I want. That's the only test that's relevant right here. Not that it actually gets the information like we had before. I don't care if we get the product URL because that's the job of the service, not the job of the component. So we will test that, but we'll test it in the service instead of in the component. So let's try and jump back to our spec file right here. I can keep this test in here, that makes sense. But what I wanna do is, instead of testing it like this, I wanna test that if I go and get this data right here, and I actually add, if there is a picture ID, let's just try and say that, I actually go in here and say if there is, sorry, not a picture ID, if there is a picture URL right here, I'll just add that. I'll just put in a new URL right here, http colon slash slash geez, something like that, any URL. If that is available and I detect the changes, let's just get rid of the fixture right there. There we go. So if the URL is available, then I expect there should be, after the detect changes, the ngon in it, then I expect there is actually an image right here. Let's try and jump back to our test. The test fail, uh, doesn't fail anymore. I also want to do the same test down here. I want to say if, there's, if the URL is undefined, not the actual product, if the URL is undefined, I'll just get rid of the service mark right here as well. I don't need that anymore because I'm not using it anymore in this component. If that is undefined, then again, I want to make sure that this actually shows up as it should. Perfect stuff. Now we could dive more into these tests if we wanted to, but what I feel is important right here is that sometimes it's actually your tests that are wrong, not your actual component that is wrong. And the reason that these tests fails after I move some code is I put some responsibility in my component that didn't belong there. So next lesson, we'll start testing the actual service instead and start looking at how we can make the same tests, but for the service instead. 
So I just want to do one more thing before we end the lesson and let's go to the top right here because right now since I just removed the file service um, I don't need that anymore inside my component if you guys notice right here I just got rid of the file service from in here so I don't need that anymore. I can also just get rid of it inside my spec file because I don't need to mock that anymore either because I'm not using it. So I'm just cleaning up my test right here also I don't need it as a provider because I'm using the product service mock. So let's just get rid of that again to clean out our code a little bit. It's always a good idea to kind of do a refactor every time you've done a few tests and make them work. Let's just see if things are still running. It seems that everything is still running, so we're happy. And the next lesson we'll try and dive into testing our services instead of like now where we just test our component. So that's it for this lesson. Now we've cleaned everything up. See you next time, have fun.